Hi, Aries. Welcome back. All right, guys, we're going to get into this. This is going to be for Aries. So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this is for you. My name is Ninja. I'll be your reader. Let's get into this, guys, and see what's going on in your energy. Remember that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Spirit, what is going on in Aries' energy, and what should Aries be aware of here? Okay. Can we get some more information, Spirit? What's going on in Aries' energy, and what should Aries be aware of here? Aries, you're coming on this reading as the Two of Cups. You might have some water in your chart. You might be a father figure. You might be a therapist. Maybe you work in a counselor's office. Or maybe you give good counsel to people. You tell, you know, people come to you for advice. Okay. Aries, you've been uh, facing some challenges lately, okay? Trying to get your feet off the ground, trying to get something off the ground, okay? It seems like uh, you, you feel like you don't have the power. You, you don't have the power in your hands to make something happen that you want to happen. That it's like you, you don't have what you need. You might be expecting to get something you need or you're ex uh, expecting something to come in. Okay, you might also uh, be undecided about a situation. Okay, um, maybe you just, you're not planning things. You're pretty much uh, playing things by ear. Like, okay, you know, if it happens, it happens. If, you know, that kind of attitude. Like, you know, if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. Okay, like, yeah. Uh, it seems like you are causing some kind of delays with some kind of personal goals that you've been working on here. And it seems like the reason why is because you have somebody around you Who's possibly holding you back or causing you some kind of confusion? You might be in the pro uh, process of moving, okay, or traveling. If this is not you moving, then this, this is you traveling, moving away, or distancing yourself, uh, possibly from a person, okay. Uh, I, it shows here that you're not where you want to be, okay. That's for sure. You're you're just not where you want to be. You're not living where you want to live at, okay? There seems to be some kind of unfinished business, um, some something that's still unsettled with a um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, okay? There's there's unfinished business here. I'm seeing um, an imbalance between the two of you. I'm seeing somebody really stressed out. Maybe you're stressed out because of this person. Maybe this person has been trying to reconcile with you, okay? Or you want to reconcile with somebody else, that kind of energy, okay? Spirit, what else is going on here for, for Aries? Please and thank you. There's going to be a new plan coming around your energy. You're about to start uh, making some new plans really soon, okay? And it's not just that. You're about to start speaking up for yourself you're about to start t uh, you know saying what you really want okay it, it, your energy is about to shift here spirit what else is going on here you might have had a earth sign take something from you cause you to lose a job or lose income lose some kind of you know cause you some kind of instability when it comes to your finances things like that what is this Oh, but in reverse, somebody here is possibly upset because they lost, they lost a relationship. They lost a home. Okay. It could, ooh. it could be because of a home. It could be because of a relationship, the loss of a relationship. It's caused you to have some kind of problems here. Okay. But you're, but despite that, despite the disappointment, okay? You, you suffered some kind of disappointment here from a relationship or a marriage. This doesn't necessarily have to be yours, right? This could actually be, you know, your parents' divorce, okay? So put the energy where it belongs. This could be, you know, your mom and dad getting a divorce and it is affecting you, right? That kind of thing. But 
with the three of candles coming out here, you're still ready to move forward. You're still ready to leave the past in the past. You're still wanting to move on. Okay, there, there is some secrets that are being surrounding you right now. There are some secrets that you're not aware of. It is about love. Aries, you're about to get married. Okay? You're about to get married. You're going to speak up to this person. And I feel like you're about to give somebody an ultimatum. Okay? That's what's happening here. You're about to give somebody an ultimatum. You're about to tell somebody that you're not going to play around anymore. Okay? Um, yeah. I'm seeing a marriage. Okay? I'm seeing a marriage on the table. I am seeing a wedding on the table you're about to stand up for yourself somebody's not getting any sleep okay because uh this came out already over here as well so somebody is not getting any sleep somebody is not wanting to take a chance somebody here is not willing to move forward not willing to take a leap of faith okay or maybe somebody has um has done that in the past, and, and it's caused them some kind of heartache, okay? Maybe they've taken a chance in the past. Somebody finds you very alluring. Yeah, there was a past breakup, possibly a divorce that has scarred somebody here. This could be you or your person, okay? That breakup really scarred this person. But with the Page of Wands coming out, it makes me feel like you're... Somebody here is willing to take another chance, okay? Something happened in the past that possibly was very unfair. Something that, you know, somebody felt cheated, okay? Somebody definitely felt cheated here. Somebody felt like somebody somebody lost a lot in a, in a past relationship, okay? So this could be your person. I feel like that's confirmation. Frankie's giving y'all some confirmation there. Yeah, she's giving y'all some confirmation. She just picks up her head, starts barking, and then lays back down. Okay, so somebody, this person or you, okay, because put the energy where it belongs. Somebody here feels like in the past they were done wrong in the worstest way. Okay, somebody was done wrong in the worstest way. But there is definitely going to be some kind of new beginning here. I'm seeing a new beginning despite this, okay? Despite what happened in the past, it does look like there's going to be a marriage coming towards you, okay? Um, and now for you, I, I think you and your person, both of you have suffered the same thing. You have this in common. It looks like both of you have suffered a lot in a past relationship, okay? I'm seeing that, you know, you need some time to recuperate. Uh, it looks like both of you need some time to recuperate. Okay, uh, but I feel like if it, it, it seems like both of you are speaking up, okay, both of you are not going to stay silent anymore here. I'm seeing both of you speaking up, both of you are ready to eventually you will be ready, okay? It's not going to happen like right away. I, I'm seeing this as something that's going to happen in the future, okay? Um, somebody here might be working a lot of long hours. And it seems to be affecting their family life, their romantic life, okay? Somebody here is working too much. A lot, uh, somebody here might be also giving a lot of their energy away to other people, people who are not in this relationship, people who are not, you know, like to friends, you know, giving your energy off to friends and stuff like that, right? Um, somebody here is working a very highly stressful job. Okay, somebody has a very demanding job. This could be you, this could be your person, or it could be both of you. Okay, somebody has a very demanding job, possibly has to be on call. Okay, so, um, that's what I'm seeing. Somebody might have to be on call. Um, so it's like they, they, they always have to be on their feet. They always have to be ready. Okay. Hmm. It seems like both of you are working... 
yeah, I'm getting that both of you work a very high, I want to say both of you to tell you the truth. You both work a very high, highly stressful job. I'm, I don't know why I'm picturing like a, a police officer with a nurse. Okay, or a therapist, okay, because you might be a therapist or a counselor, um, or you've counseled people, maybe you're a teacher and you have to counsel people. Um, it could be something like that, right? But I feel like both of you work a very stressful job. Somebody here is not getting enough sleep, okay, and I feel like it might be both of you. Somebody here might be unwilling to resolve an issue, okay, or re uh, uh, unwillingness to resolve a situation. Okay, somebody here is trying to avoid confrontation. Somebody here is trying to avoid avoid problems. Okay, somebody here is definitely trying to avoid problems. I feel like that's you, Aries. You don't want any problems. You kind of want things to be smooth. Okay, um, somebody here is definitely working at finding the mental strength to come out and do something okay i think somebody here has been um isolating themselves maybe both of you have been isolating yourself okay this could be an ex of yours for one person okay like you and this person have separated that person moved out of the house that kind of thing i am seeing a marriage on the table here guys i'm seeing a union coming back together i'm seeing I'm seeing people planning their future together, okay? So if you are broken up from your person, it's definitely not going to last very long at all, okay? Spirit, what's the final outcome? What is going on here? What is going on here? Can we get some more information about this page of wands? You might have a child with this person. It might be a fire sign. Spirit, what else is going on here? Let's see what came out. Okay. You do have eyes on you, Aries. And it could be a younger person. Somebody here has the has a choice to make between two people. Okay? One of you one of these people that you have a choice. Okay, you have a choice between two people. That's what I'm seeing. And one of these people is a karmic. It seems like uh, you've had somebody come and take away from you. You've had somebody cheat you. You've had somebody who was constantly with their hand out asking for money. Okay. And then you've had another person who bought balance into your life. Okay. Uh, it seems like you have a choice between two people, an air sign and an earth sign. This air sign is the one that I'm very concerned about because this person is going to cause a lot of chaos in your life. Um, so you have two. You have one that's an air sign but a karmic. This person is portraying themselves to be an upstanding kind of person. So you need to be cautious with that. Okay? There's two people coming out in this. Uh, maybe even a third one who the third one is a high priestess. So maybe you're dating three people at the same time, or you're talking to three people at the same time. Yeah, that's what it is. You might be talking to three people at the same time. You're going to end up marrying one of them. That's what's going to happen. You have one who has been taking from you, okay? You need to be very cautious with that one. And I feel like it's the, it's the queen of swords. Okay, that one is a karmic. You're going to have to be careful with that one. Maybe that person has been upset because they feel like they're not getting their money. This also could be somebody who has been breadcrumbing you. Okay, now this could be a past situation. All right, this is, uh, you know, this could be why you, why you have been in isolation. Why you have decided, you know... There, there's like a part of you that wants to be single. There's a part of you that's like, you know, you just don't want the drama, right? You think of relationships and you think automatically think, oh, drama, oh, problems, you know? So just the idea of a relationship, like getting serious and settling down with somebody, you know, it just automatically comes to mind, you know, drama, problems, stress anxiety you know all that kind of stuff 
uh, you know, arguments, things like that. Like, so your past relationship was pretty shaky. Uh, for one of you, your past relationship was with somebody who cheated. Okay. They were always having a third party situation it's right there. Okay. So you, you know, you were with somebody who was always, always, you know, playing mind games, always doing something, right? Always using love as a weapon, okay? And that's what I'm getting here. Like that person was constantly using love as a weapon, right? Making you think that things were going to be one way or things were one way and played games, right? Somebody who thought they were a gigolo or probably said that they were a gigolo. Or maybe they were a gigolo. <laughs> I'm getting that song in my head. I'm just a gigolo everywhere I go. Um, or maybe this person is a stripper. All right, they're a stripper. They dance, something like that. Right. Um, maybe you don't know that. <laughs> I just realized. I gotta be careful with things I say. Um. Yeah, for one of you, this person very well could be a stripper, okay? Um, you are going to end up making a decision. I feel like in the past, this might be a past situation where you had a decision between three, three people. If this is not you, then it's your person. If this is not you, then it's your person. Your person is dealing with three people. Um... And you know what? I'm going to say something. A lot of people get mad about that. Like, oh, you're dating this many people. You know what? It's actually better to date several people. I'll be honest with you. It is actually better to date several people uh, before you settle down with one, right? Because what people do, a lot of people do this, is they start dating somebody and then they become exclusive really quickly. You know what I mean? You don't really want to do that. And if, and the reason why I'm saying that is because if this is your person and your person is dating three people, unless you and this person have a commitment between the two of you, okay? And I'm talking about like y'all are engaged, y'all are planning to get married, which I am seeing a marriage on the table, okay? Um, You know, it's actually a good idea to date several people, okay? Before you settle down, you know, get to really know the people before you make a decision, which one you want to settle down with. Um, I just, the relationships, I'm going to tell you, especially if you're young, um, people that I personally have known, and these are people I personally have known since, you know, since I was a kid, the ones who dated several people at the same time before jumping into a relationship, they, they're, they're all happily married right now. I'm going to tell you, all of them, they're all happily married. Um, they, they, they chose the person that they wanted to be with because of their character and not because of their finances, not because of their looks, but just based on their character alone. Okay. Um, I actually know several people who've done this and Everybody was open about it. There was nothing like, um, you know, sneaking around, dating behind each other's backs, you know, that kind of thing, right? Um, nothing like that at all. Everybody knew exactly what was going on. Uh, you know, a friend of mine, her, actually, she, she was just dating him. But her husband, he was dating two other women and her at the same time, three of them. They weren't married. He wasn't married to any of them. And you know what? This is something that a lot of people did back in the day. And I've noticed that a lot of people don't do this anymore. And I don't know. I don't understand why. It's actually a really good, really good thing to do because you kind of get an idea. I, I think I think it's a good idea because you you know what's out there and then you know what you want. You know what you need. You know what I'm saying? It gives you an idea of of what you're looking for in a relationship better than if you just got with one person and ended up getting serious with that one person and then going through all that drama 
just to find out that that person's not compatible with you. It's just better to be honest and upfront. So I hope this person was honest and upfront with you, right? If this is your person, okay? I'm just going to say that. But I, I just I just don't want you to judge really quickly against this person because they're dating other people, all right? Um, but they should have told you, right? Just to be fair and be honest, right? That kind of thing. Uh, I do feel like this person is trying to be honest with you. So I feel like, you know, this person possibly has let you know that they were seeing other people. Um, but for one of you, you didn't because the two of swords came out. So there's a good chance that you're not aware that this person is dating other people, unfortunately. Okay. Um, but between you and the other two, you're the one that is shining out because we do have the six of swords coming out. So. You're the one, I feel like you're the one that is standing out from the crowd more than the other ones, okay? Um, and just in the fact that you have this ability to move on quicker, right? I feel like it makes you stand out more because you're not clingy to this person, okay? Because that's what I'm getting from this card. I feel like you're not clingy from, you know, toward this person you're not you're not always with the handout because i guarantee you this queen of swords is this queen of swords is always asking for money okay or, or always asking for some kind of support okay this queen of swords is a pain in the butt okay so she's gonna be definitely the first one to go because she's playing a lot of games um if you are concerned you do have the queen of um coins here who might who may or may not be competition. Okay, let's just put it that way. I feel like you're coming out as the high priestess, though. Okay, I do feel like this one is your energy. Uh, it could be the queen of coins, but I feel like more it's going to be the uh, high priestess. Okay. So, there might be a move or something here that you are not aware of. Like, you're not aware of this. I feel like you're not aware of this. And once you do find out, it does look like you're going to be willing to walk away. So, like I said, unless you and this person's in a, you know, in a reclusive relationship, okay? Now, I will say this. Now, if this person is like, oh, I could date other people, but you can't, oh, then forget that person. That That's a huge red flag, okay? Especially you young ones. If you're dating somebody and this person's like, oh, no, you, you know, you can't date somebody else, but I can, then you're with the wrong person. Give me one second here. I dropped a card. Okay. Um, then you're with the, that person's bad. Just get away from them. Seriously. The last thing you want to do is get with somebody who's going to be one-sided because it's never going to get better. It will never, ever, ever get better. Okay. Never. As a matter of fact, uh, if you end up getting married to that person and that person's already coming out from the beginning as being one very one-sided, it will continue that way and it, it will just get worse. Give me one second. <coughs> Sorry, guys. What will end up happening is you will be sitting at home that person will show up with some taco cabana. <laughs> taco cabana. If you don't know, it's a, it's a Mexican restaurant. Real popular in Texas. Um, You know, McDonald's. Let's just say McDonald's, right? That person will show up with some McDonald's, sit at the table and eat it right in front of you and won't even think twice about getting you anything, okay? That's why you don't want to be with that kind of person. Now... If this person is telling you, oh, you know, I, you know, don't date anybody else. And then you find out this person has been dating other people. Huge red flag. Walk away. Walk away. That right there tells you how this person's uh, attitude is going to be. Okay. Anyways. This person is going to desire you because you are going to be so quick to just move on. Okay. It's like you're not clingy. Okay, and I do feel like this other one is clingy. Okay, the queen of uh, this karmic over here, she's she's definitely clingy. <laughs> I 
I do see a wedding on the table here. I am seeing a big party here. I'm seeing a horse at your wedding, okay? Or a donkey. I don't know why a donkey, but... I'm seeing a horse here at your wedding, or maybe you're going to have, like, pony rides at your wedding, or something to do with horses. Uh, it very well could be something to do with the beach. Maybe you've always wanted to get married on a beach, or a beach somewhere like Hawaii, or a specific beach, okay? Somewhere where there's going to be a lot of sun. Uh, I do see here, like, maybe flowers is going to be, you know, a big thing, of course. Flowers is always a big thing on weddings, but... Um, I feel like you're going to have a themed wedding. Yeah, you might end up having a themed wedding. Or maybe you have always wanted to have a themed wedding. You know, a, like, I have no idea. <laughs> like a Jack and Sally type of wedding or something. I don't know. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I don't know. But, but uh, I, it looks here like you've always wanted a, a, a themed wedding. It looks like you're going to end up getting your themed wedding, okay? Um, now, I do see here that there's going to be a lot of flip-flopping between you and this person. And it has a lot to do with your schedules. It has a lot to do with uh, what's going on in your, your work, okay? What you do for a living. Um, now, this if you're not working, if y'all are both, like, uh, retired then this could be family obligations that are taking y'all away from each other. Uh, you know, both of you having a lot of family obligations, like sick parents or sick children or something like that. You know, something that takes away a lot of your attention away from the other person, okay? So if this is not job, then this is a high-stressful family situation where both of you have somebody that you are taking care of, okay? That's what I'm getting. Um, let's keep going. Let's see what else. Let's see what else comes out. Spirit, anything else here that Aries needs to know? It does look like you had a cheater for an ex-husband. Mm. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Okay, so you're definitely going to be, like, moving on, doing something else. I think there's going to be a time period here where this person did not tell you. Yeah, this person didn't tell you that they were dating other people. You're going to end up walking away because you feel like that person is being sneaky. That person was being deceptive. That person was lying to you. Yeah, you're going to free yourself. Never mind. You're going to free yourself, Aries. You were planning to marry this person, and you would have married this person, okay? Because I do see a wedding here, okay? For one of you, you're going to end up marrying this person. For another one of you, you're not, okay? I feel like this is two of your energies. One of you, you're going to end up marrying this person. Maybe you already know about this, okay? About them dating other people, talking to other people, okay? Um, but for another one of you, you're not going to deal with it. Okay, that's what it's saying here. Like, you didn't even know. You didn't know that this person had other people. Or they were talking to other people. And because it's triggering you. Okay, it's triggering you because you were in a, in a past relationship where that person was constantly cheating. And because this person did not tell you, they were not being honest with you, you're just going to walk away. Okay. For another one of you, you are going to end up marrying this person. And you're going to have that themed wedding. That's what I'm getting. All right, guys. I'm going to leave this here. I hope I said something that was helpful. Okay? Y'all take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I don't know. Part of me is thinking to go get into another reading. No, I'll, I think I'll go ahead and close this now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this, this reading, and I will go ahead and start doing another reading, guys. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Something's telling me to do it now. Okay, so if this part was not for you, right, let's see what else is going on. Because this, this one came out to be more about a relationship. 
and see what else comes out. Spirit, what else is going on in Aries's energy? What else is going on in Aries's energy? Let's find out, guys. Let's go ahead and get into another reading. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Spirit, what else is going on in Aries's energy? Who else's energy can I pick up on here? What else is going on in Aries's energy, Spirit? Uh, we have the Fool card. First card out. So, whoever you are, um, you're very adventurous. Okay? You might be athletic. You might be the kind of person who enjoys walking. Maybe you walk a lot with your dog. You take your dogs on walks or you take your dogs out, period. Like, out into nature. Okay? Maybe you enjoy being outside a lot. Maybe you... You might even enjoy soccer. You're coming into this ring as the king of swords, okay? You're going to speak your truth. We also have the six of swords coming out. Let's find out what's going on with that. Six of swords, spirit. Can we get some more information about that? Aries, you might be in the process of leaving, traveling, moving on, going for what you really want here, okay? And that's what I'm getting. Like, you're... You have this, you have this, I can do attitude. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this done. I'm not going to be messing around. Nobody can stop me. Okay. Spirit, can we get some more information about that Wheel of Fortune, please? You might have something that is holding you back. Okay. Something that is holding you back. It could be an ex. Okay. It could also be something uh, like some kind of unresolved issues. Something that hasn't been finished. Something that hasn't been done yet. Something that is uh, preventing you from moving forward. Spirit, what else is going on here for Aries? But you still want to go. Like, you still want to do it. You still want to get up and go. You still want to... You still have that attitude, that determination. Spirit, anything else here for Aries? Okay. I'm going to pull out my other cards. Let's see what else comes out for you guys. You have somebody... It could. This could be a person, uh, a Capricorn... Okay, maybe a Capricorn who is trying to hold you back or somebody who has Capricorn in their chart who's possibly trying to hold you back here. Okay, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, Spirit, can we get some more information, please? And thank you. I'm getting a Capricorn, guys. Okay, I, I, I don't know where that's coming from exactly, but that's what I'm getting. Mm. Okay, so yes, it is. It is an ex. Okay, so you have an ex who's been holding you back here. Somebody who's who doesn't want you to move forward. This is like a loss of happiness. Okay, somebody who's making you feel very sad. Somebody who doesn't. It's like they want to come in and they want to steal your 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 uh your destiny, where you feel like you're supposed to be. You you you're not where you're supposed to be. Okay, basically, it's like. Where you are right now, it has already served its purpose, okay? you Where you are in the world right now, where you are in your career, where you are living at, it already has served a purpose, but it doesn't serve its purpose anymore, okay? It's not serving its purpose anymore. It's it's over. Like, the, the, the usefulness in your life is over. That part is over. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to move forward now. Okay, um, maybe somebody around you might also be feeling pretty jealous of, you know, jealous of you at this time. Uh, this could be romantic type of jealousy, not wanting to see you move on, not wanting to see you go out and date other people, that kind of thing. Okay. Now, this could also be your person. Your person might be feeling like you don't love them anymore. You don't care about them. You never did. Okay, it's giving me that kind of vibe. You never did. You were never committed. You were never into this uh, connection, okay? Like you didn't give it 100%, that kind of thing. Somebody's really sad. Very sad. Somebody's very depressed here. Somebody feels like they're losing everything. Wait, can we get some more information? And I feel like it's this person. This person might be the person that's trying to hold you back. Spirit. Okay. 
Be cautious with this person. This is a very controlling person. Okay, this is the King of Candles. I'm going to show it to y'all this way, but it's actually, it actually came out in the reverse. Okay, so I just want y'all to see it. But this is the King of Candles. So be cautious with this person. All right, this person is somebody that you don't want to play with because this person does have a, a, a big, big jealousy streak. All right, this is going to be somebody who's going to play a lot of games. Um, you know, they're going to they're going to play to win. It could be a Leo. Maybe you're dealing with the Leo, or maybe you have been dealing with the Leo. This Leo is coming in to stop you. All right, this this Leo doesn't want to see you moving forward. Uh, somebody here might also be going through some kind of health issues. Okay, and it could be this person, your ex, that's going through health and uh, health issues. It, it seems like this person feels like they have nothing to lose now. It seems like they feel like they've already lost everything. Okay, the this person is going through a, a very stressful situation, and I and I know people are saying, you know, like, well, Ninja, why is that important? I, I don't want to. I don't care about that. Well, it it, it is important because. When people feel this way and they feel cornered this way, people could do some crazy stuff, okay? When people feel cornered or they feel like they have nothing left to lose, this is why I say it. People, I, I know I get comments that are like, well, we don't care about that. Well, you should, especially when it's coming in your reading. You should, okay? And that's why I tell you what's going on because what's going on with that person can very well affect you, okay? When somebody like this feels like they have nothing to lose, they can become a very dangerous person. Okay? And that's why I'm telling you what's going on here. Um, I'm also seeing somebody who is a narcissist. Okay? I feel like this person's a narcissist, so they're going to justify whatever they do. That's the point. This person is going to justify whatever it is they, they do. For one of you, I don't know why, but I'm getting this vibe that this is a continuation of the reading I just did. Seriously, I feel like this is a some kind of continuation from that reading. I don't get it, but that's what I'm getting. Um, so this person is like what dating other people, and now they they're finding out that they have a health issue. Okay, I'm getting like um, what's it called? Something with the liver. Okay, my third eye. I'm seeing something with the liver. Or prostate or something okay toxicity what did I say I just said it I just said it didn't I I just said it when the person is like this and they're sick and they are feeling like they have nothing to lose the devil shows up that's what I'm telling you this is why it's important to know these things because when people feel this way they can become extremely dangerous Huh. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to defend yourself against this person. You're definitely going to have to defend yourself against this person. You're going to have to set some kind of boundaries or something. If not, if you can't set boundaries with this person, you're definitely going to end up having to defend yourself against this person. Okay, because this person is not going to stop. All right, this person is not going to stop. It's coming out again. This person is not going to stop. All right, this is going to be somebody that is going to cause you to constantly uh, feel like, you know, you need to fight for yourself or you need to stand up for yourself. Hmm. But you're definitely highly protected, though. Okay? You're you're definitely highly protected here. I feel like you, you're making your own path to something. You're trying to push yourself forward, and you're, and you're actually... Like you're engraving your own path. You know what I'm saying? Like you're out there with the machete and you're, you know what I'm saying? The, what do you call it? The weed whacker, right? You're over there. You're like cutting your own path. You're doing something here that nobody else has done before. Like you are, or nobody has ever told you how to do. Like you are doing something yourself. I'm seeing you coming toward, or uh, well, not coming toward this person, but you're you're resisting this person. This person might have been trying to like talk to you to get you to, you know, see things their way. Again, look what we have again. Okay, it, it the six of uh, swords came out here, and now we have the six of lightning here, right? You you are 
you are so headstrong and ready to move forward in your life. You are so headstrong. Somebody here has some kind of drinking problem. Okay, so I feel like it might be your person. Your person dr drinks a lot. Or maybe you don't even know that, that they drink a lot. Um, I was picking up on somebody having something to do with their liver. Okay, maybe it's because of them drinking. They quit now. But I, it looks like it's been too late. All right, it looks like they quit too late. They might have quit because it's coming out, in the, you know, in the in the reverse. But they quit. They quit too late. Scler what is it called? Sclerosis of the liver or something like that. Okay. With this devil card coming out, it seems like this part. And then we have the the king of candles coming out. Okay. There's a lot of toxicity here. This person is coming in and they're going to want to play tricks and games and everything that they can to keep you locked in, Aries. They want to keep you locked in. All right. This person definitely wants to keep you stuck with them. All right. I feel like this person is definitely going to try their best to keep you with them. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get some other cards out. Let's see what else. Page of Swords, you're going to speak your truth. We have the Hangman. So just telling me to pull from the bottom of the deck, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. <coughs> the Hermit. I do feel like you're making a plan here, Aries. And I do feel like you're just, you're very observant. And you're you're a lot smarter than this person thinks that you are. Okay, I feel like you're you're very I, I want to say very intelligent. Okay, I feel like you see things that this person doesn't even know that you see. Okay, you probably have you probably have said something. Okay, like you've spoken up to this person. You know what I mean? You're not afraid to speak up. You're not afraid to say your truth. You're not afraid to make a plan. Okay, and that's what I'm getting. Or you might be writing something. All right, you might be writing something here. Maybe you are like writing things down, right? You know, to remind yourself of this is like maybe you are writing things down what this person has done, what this person has said to you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. You're definitely feeling very defensive against this person. If you look here, the cat. You know, if you look closely, his claws are coming out. Okay? Like, he's he's not going to back down. He's not going to back down. And that's you. You're not going to back down. You might be feeling very defensive against this person. Okay? Mm. And I think you're very much ready to just take on any kind of challenges that are coming your way. And that's what I'm getting. Okay? I do feel like uh, maybe you have Pisces in your chart. You might have Pisces in your chart. Let's see what else comes out. Spirit, anything else here for Aries? Spirit, anything else here for Aries? Please and thank you. You have bad memories with this person. Or you have a long history with this person. And it wasn't always good. You know, y'all been through bad times and good times. So this person has like kept held you back. That's what it is. This person has held you back from going and doing what you wanted to do. You've made plans in the past, right? You've made plans. You you wanted to do something. Maybe you wanted to start something new, uh, like a get on YouTube or social media, something like that, where you wanted to be an influencer or you wanted to do something, where you wanted to try like try something right and this person came in and, and they hold you back so that's why when you think back about this person this is why you're so defensive because this person has like crushed your dreams or tried to okay this person has actually tried to hold you back stop you they have tried to cause you delays okay they have used a lot of manipulation against you here right and that's why you don't want nothing to do with them. And it's not just that, but for one of you, 
the sex is not that good. Okay? I mean, the sex is just, it, you, you, you just don't, it doesn't excite you anymore. Okay? Like, that person thinks that, you know, the sex was so great. And, you know, you were just going to be, like, all over them or, you know, like, nobody else could do it like them or that kind of energy, right? But you're like, no. The sex wasn't that good, okay? Um, actually, it was very disappointing. Like, there's something going on in the sex life where you felt like it just wasn't doing it for you anymore, okay? So, it wasn't just this person's attitude causing you delays, but it was also... You lo you know you lost the sizzle you lost the the passion there you don't you know there's just nothing there for you and at least that's how you see it there's nothing there for you but this person doesn't see it that way this person is acting this way because they're sick something is wrong with them okay uh, if it's not well, like I said about their liver right then it's something else okay but they're definitely going through some kind of health issues all right maybe a stroke. Or they're going to have a stroke if they don't know it. Whoa, what was that? Great, right, can we get some more information about this devil, please? Can we get some more information about this devil? Aries, be careful with this devil. This is why they're coming out in your energy. Okay, they're definitely around your energy right now. And this one came out in reverse as well. This person, they don't want you to give up. They don't want you to let go of them. They want you to stay around. They're expecting you to take care of them, okay? They're sick and they've lost their independence. They might have lost their apartment, their house. Um, you know, maybe they had to quit working. Or they will have to quit working, okay? It's like they think that if they keep pushing you and pushing you, that they will wear, they will wear you down, all right? This person is very persistent. So they feel like they, you know, if they keep pushing you, they're going to wear you down. And that's what I'm getting. This person feels like you owe them, okay? It's like this person thinks that you owe them something here. Maybe they maybe they helped you in some kind of way, and now they feel like you should have some kind of gratitude toward them, but you don't. Okay. And this person never like really opened up to you. Like they never really opened up and told you things about their past. They never told you, uh, you know, y'all never had these personal talks. You know, with this person, it was always a good time. It was always partying. Right? But y'all never really like sat down. Maybe you did, right? Maybe you you sat down and had a you know a heart to heart talk with this person, but this person didn't reciprocate it, okay? That's what I'm getting. Hmm. That's what I got, guys. Alright, that's what I have. If that person would have opened up, maybe you would have been there for them more or maybe you would have uh felt different about the situation okay all right Aries, i'm gonna let this go uh this person is definitely gonna be watching you they're not they're not leaving you alone that's for sure this person is sick and it seems like they feel like you are their lifeline okay this person feels like you are their lifeline at this point but oh well they should have thought of that before right they should have thought of that before. So, um, and for one of you, there, there's just nothing there anymore. This person is like trying to change when the, the romance is already dead. You don't have no feelings for them. Like I said, the sex wasn't that good. Okay. Like the last time you had sex with this person, it was just, it was nothing there. Okay. You didn't feel anything. There was no spark. There was nothing. It's, it's dead. It's over. You know what I mean? All right, Aries. Catch me in the next one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And catch me in the next one. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Y'all take care. Oops.